We are back, everybody. Another fat burn meal. Quick, easy, delicious, Mediterranean style. You know, it's a healthy habit for my clients out there. Eat fish three times a week. Uh, tons of uh, 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 oils. Uh, fish oils are insanely good. Omega-3. You can get those in pill form, actually, but be cool if you just ate fish three times a week. It's really not that hard, guys. Um, so you can tell I've got stuff boiling in the background already because we're going to make this video simple. But first thing, let's talk about what we're making. We've got some mahi-mahi. All right. We've got some green beans. We've got some tomato and some avocado. We're going to make something special with all of that. Now, here's the tools we're using. Some Pam spray, olive oil, uh, no artificial preservatives, flavors. Let me take that off. There we go. Olive oil, <laughs> no artificial preservatives, flavors, or colors. All right. We've got uh, just a spat, a knife, of course, tablespoon, definitely an important one. We have got a cup and a half cup, fork and knife, and of course, the food scale. One more thing we're actually missing, salad dressing, all right? Here's the brand, Simply 60, Dijon honey mustard. Uh, using it simply because I've got it and I don't wanna own like seven different salad dressings at a time. Um, 4.5 grams of fat, four grams of carbs, so we're staying in that three, four, five gram range for my clients. There's the brand, there's what it's called. Simple saute pan, and of course, this is our double boiler for steaming the green beans, which green beans are always going to be uh, the first thing to be cooked on this meal because they will take the longest. Our mahi-mahi we're gonna saute, and uh, that's just quick and easy. But here's what I love about this, is the water is actually in the pot below boiling, so these green beans are only getting the steam. Now, if you don't have one of these fancy things, just put about an inch of water in the bottom of your pot and then put the green beans in there. It'll do the same thing as long as you got a lid. The key is to hold the steam inside it. All right, so we're gonna let that do its thing for a little bit and then we will come back to the rest of this meal. All right, so while that is cooking, we are going to work on one of our healthy fats that actually needs to be uh, worked on. The salad dressing is easy. The salad dressing we just pour out. I'll show you how we're going to use that. Since we're not using salad dressing, you're probably wondering. But avocado. Now this is where the food scale comes into play. Keep in mind, mahi-mahi is in the seven ounce protein category, okay? The seven ounce protein category. So what that means is we need two healthy fats with it. One of those healthy fats on your list for my clients out there is avocado. And we need 1.5 ounces of it. I'm not sure how much this is going to be, so let's find out. So that was a little bit over an ounce. Perfect. Wow. So almost exactly half an avocado. Let me see if I can see. Uh, you guys seeing what I'm seeing here? Okay, right there. So half an avocado is exactly one and a half ounces. So here's what we're going to do with this. All right, I'm not going to tell you yet exactly what it's used for, but you're going to take the said fork and kind of turn avocado into as much of a mush kind of paste kind of whatever as you can. So you really want to basically turn it into guacamole without any of the other guacamole ingredients. Is that like the purest form of guacamole. Maybe you got something better to use than a fork. I like the fork, a whisk, it just goes right inside the center of the whisk and then you're going to spend the next 13 weeks trying to get it out of the center of the whisk. So that's kind of, you know, what we're looking for, a little bit of like a paste consistency there. Then you can leave this shit alone until basically the end of this meal. We're going to do something cool with it, something flavorful. All right, also, while the green beans are still steaming, we're gonna cut the tomato. 
okay? You can really cut this any way. There's no specific way that uh, we absolutely want to do this. But uh, I'm just gonna do this way, because it's easy. And we want about half a cup of tomato. So this is a one fourth cup right here. If you figure the size of the tomato I have, Unfortunately, I don't have a half cup measuring. Maybe if I do enough of these videos, I'll finally get one. But this is about a whole tomato right here that I'm using. This right here is a one fourth cup. So as you can see, I'm basically gonna be using the entire tomato because uh, half of this tomato fits perfectly in the one fourth cup. All right, so if you're sticking with me here, half a cup of tomato, is one serving. We need three servings of veggie, remember? We need seven ounces of tilapia, which is a lot of, or I'm sorry, mahi-mahi, which is a lot of mahi-mahi. So uh, this is gonna count as one serving of our veggie, as you might have guessed. About a cup of green beans is gonna count as our second and third serving of veggie, because green beans as well are half a cup per serving. So now, it's a big waiting game. Uh, I'm not gonna cook the mahi-mahi until the green beans are really almost done because this mahi-mahi is gonna cook real quick and then we'll show you how we kind of finish everything, put it together. It is mahi-mahi time. So I know mahi-mahi, folks, is in the seven ounce protein category, which means we need two healthy fat servings. And I do know that oil is a healthy fat. However, if I use my healthy fats to saute this mahi-mahi and I don't eat all of this mahi-mahi because I'm only looking for seven ounces of it, then I will be leaving some good, much needed, nutrient dense healthy fats in the leftover mahi-mahi that I'm not eating, okay? I wanna make sure that I get all my healthy fats. So if I ever use oil as a healthy fat, it's gonna go right on the food, not on the pan to saute with so that some gets left behind and I miss out on my nutrients. So what are we gonna use to saute? That's where this bad boy comes in. You can find an organic one if you want to. I could not at my specific grocery store I was at, but I have found them before. But this is an olive oil. And remember, we're not necessarily using it for non-stick. We are using it to saute. So be a little generous with it. And I don't think I need to show you how this works, but I like to use the skin side. Pan should definitely be hot enough to where if you put something in it, you hear that sound as soon as it drops. So we're gonna saute that for a bit. Green beans are still doing their thing. All right, folks, so working on the finished product right now. I've got my cooked mahi-mahi right here. We need about seven ounces of this. So let's see what we got here. That is not yet seven. So that's at least half of a 16 pound mahi-mahi. That is how much this stuff shrinks down. When you get into the seven ounce protein category for my clients out there, these uh, meats start to shrink like crazy. For example, let me kind of give you an idea of what I'm saying. If you get a pound of shrimp, most likely by the time you cook that raw pound of shrimp, you will be eating the entire thing. And it cooks down to about seven ounces. So we've almost got seven. I got a little too much here. I'm getting right on the money. We don't want to be at 7.1. We don't want to be at 6.9 for sure because then we're under eating. So let me play around. There we go, seven, perfect. So, we've got our seven ounces of fish. That's what it looks like. All right, actually quite a bit. Uh, definitely more than half of uh, what we started with, which was a pound. Again, it shrinks when it cooks. So, let's go on to the side veggie. And I've got my green beans over here. They're kind of uh, cooling down in the pan in the sink. Green beans are not easy by any means when it comes to measuring them in a measuring cup. So really the best trick is to just push them in there. Now if it looks like that, that's okay. You can see though it's pretty in there. There's quite a bit. And we're going to put this on the side of the mahi-mahi. Now that 
Remember, there's only two servings of veggie, a full cup. The green beans are half a cup per serving. We've got our tomatoes already measured out. And I'm going to put these tomatoes, see if I can tilt this. I'm going to put them, actually, you know what? Let me hold off on this. We're going to get fancy. We're going to get real fancy. We're going to bring the salad dressing in, all right? Don't get so hung up on the flavor. I'm just using it because it's what I have. Not a bad idea to get multiple salad dressings in your house because you can utilize them as seasonings for meats in the six ounce or seven ounce protein category does not just have to go on salad. So we need two full healthy fat servings. And if you guys remember, salad dressing, two tablespoons is one serving. So this is going to act as a flavor for the mahi mahi. And you know what? You can either put the second one on the mahi mahi or I'm gonna go ahead and put the second one on the green beans and flavor them with kind of the same flavoring. Another thing you can do with the green beans, I can't believe it's not butter spray, not the tub filled with a whole bunch of crap. The spray is pretty clean label. You can utilize that, does not count as a healthy fat, really doesn't count as anything. Uh, with this uh, program. You can utilize that for the green beans. And then this is where our second healthy fat serving comes in. So remember we need two servings and this is number two. And we're gonna smear that on top of the mahi mahi. Man, this shit's looking good. All right. Now I know the salad dressing says up to two tablespoons and low carbohydrate, but my clients out there, you should know that I want you to get two full tablespoons if you're gonna use salad dressing. And uh, you know, don't pay attention to the low carb. Don't let marketers tell you what is and isn't healthy. Uh, you know what we utilize in terms of nutrient content on salad dressing. And now I'm just putting the tomato on here and my extra tomato just gonna go on the side. And there we have it. That is a solid, solid meal. Let me give you guys an up close look. It's pretty incredible that we can be eating shit like this and be dropping weight like crazy. All right, it really, really is. If you're not a client of mine, get on board. Give me a call, let's talk. Let's figure out what your goals are, what your needs are. Let's get you on a path to success and let's get you eating stuff like this each and every day. Thanks for watching.